Grace Kitchens presents Creative Cooking, festive meal ideas for the season. And now, here is today's host. Welcome to our show. Christmas is in the air and many of you are looking forward to sharing time with relatives and friends who will be visiting over the season. Today we turn the spotlight on beef. Yes, beef is back. And with me is Mrs. Frances Madden, a member of the Grace Canada team. Mrs. Madden, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Today we have turned the spotlight on beef. Tell us about the eating habits of beef within the inner city. Well, it's not only beef, but mm -hmm. inner city people like to have their meat. Mm -hmm. And oxtail is a good food. Um, stew peas, wow. which many grace persons can vow to on a Wednesday. On a Wednesday. <laughs> mm -hmm. The curry goat is always there. And not to leave out our chicken back, you know, because that is a must. Yes. You know, and on Fridays, the, what we call fry fry, mm -hmm. which is the sprat and the fish and fry dumpling and fry breadfruit. But beef is something which is cooked throughout the year as stew beef, stew beef and rice. Cut it as a nice gravy. You can add bean to it. Mm -hmm. You can stretch it in many ways and it serves the family well. And at Christmas time, that special you know, meal plan is rolled out. Yes, because at Christmas, mm -hmm. you have to have at least two meat. So chicken is a must. Mm -hmm. And then there's probably pork, but then roast beef also. Is a must. Yeah, it's a, a must. So you have to have two meat or mm -hmm. sometimes three, mm -hmm. depending on what you can afford. Today we are cooking roast beef with pan gravy. But before we start the cooking, there are some things that we must do. One, we have a nice piece of beef. This looks like about three kilograms of beef. And the first thing we have to do is clean it. Now we clean it with a little bit of grace vinegar and water. Now we are going to blend the seasoning together because the purpose is to make a nice marinade so that we can get the beef going really tender and juicy. So remember we must add some fluid to our blender and we are adding our red wine. Now our next thing is to get the onion in and then our garlic. We have four cloves of garlic and then we have our scallion. Then we have the thyme. We have all-purpose seasoning, the grace all-purpose seasoning and we have grace black pepper. Just press the button and then we have it going for about 30 seconds until it is smooth. Here you can see it coming up, nice. Color is good. And it is nice and smooth. And we pour it right over the beef. Notice it is covering it, making it nice and juicy. Remember, it's easy, it's not hard. And so this will, you have to leave this, however, overnight. Here we are, we are going to put it aside. Now, right now, we had one prepared for us for the show, because as you know, we can't do everything while we are here. So while that is marinating, we have one piece which is already prepared. Now we have a pot, nice and hot, with grace vegetable oil. Now, if you don't have a fancy pot, remember the good old Dutchy, nice heavy Dutch pot, Please don't be afraid to use it. Take our time, ease it in the pot. Ooh, you hear that? You can hear the frying. Now we're going to brown it on either side and leave it, let it get golden brown. So we're not going to rush it and allow it there to brown. And so it's now golden brown, looking really, really nice. And remember the marinade, we will now gently pour it over because that's the part that makes the gravy and really makes it tender. Tip a little bit of water in it. You leave the meat to simmer for 45 minutes. Just cover the pot on a low flame and leave it for 45 minutes. Now that the meat has been cooking for 45 minutes, it's looking really good. But before we eat it, we must add our tomatoes. 
to give it some color. Ooh, look at that. And some potatoes, which also help you with the body. So you don't have to put cornstarch into the gravy to make it thick, because you have the potatoes there. And you have some nice carrots. Oh, you should see this meat. And if you think it needs a little bit more flavor, you can add a pinch of salt to bring it up for those persons who like a more salty taste. But you also must add some stock. And this was made from grace cock soup. And so we will add this to it right there. And so we'll cover it and allow it to cook for another 15 minutes. And then we would be ready to serve our beautiful pot roast. Hi, Mrs. Madden, is dinner Hi. ready? Almost there. Now here you have the finished dish. Yes. And you have served with Irish potatoes and carrots, yes. tomatoes. This is a complete meal. Yes. Now I'd love for you to slice some of this yes. beef so our consumers can see how tender and juicy it you is. You see, the, 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 the potato and the carrot actually was cooked with the beef mm -hmm. and it really act came out so it, it in, in, a, in point you could have it as a meat by itself yes. a, a meal by itself because it's so nice wow. here we are and we're cutting away mm -hmm. at this nice mm -hmm. beef oh look at that look at really that. juicy and tender yes nice beef and we have all or when we finish we'll put some of that gravy which came out from the beef it's yes. nice wow it's, that uh, looks oh, good look and good. smells good oh wow. look at that look at that isn't that fabulous yes and we cannot forget a drink yes. and at grace kennedy we have a new drink that's Grace Tropical Rhythms Cran Sorrel. Oh, that's yes. That's a must have. And tastes good. Yes. Just chilled with a little ice and you're all the way. There's also a Grace Mango Nectar. You can prefer those persons who like drink with a little more body. You could have that. And if you like to create a mix, Mm, Go right ahead. Wrong with that. Go right ahead. Mrs. Madden, I must thank you for coming and sharing with us this great meal idea using beef. Thank you so much. And thanks for having me. I'm looking forward to the holidays myself to cooking a piece of roast beef. That's thank right. Thank you. <laughs> mailbox comes this question. What is marbling in beef and how does it affect the taste? Now here we have a very nice piece of beef. It's a pot roast. And as you see these lines, this is what is called the marbling. It's a network of fat that runs throughout the meat. Now as the meat is cooked, the marbling dissolves into the meat and it allows the meat to become tender juicy and flavorful. When selecting cuts of beef, you should buy beef that has very fine lines of marbling, as this will really make the final product very, very, very good. Now, if you are not sure how to select a good pot roast, I suggest that you speak with your butcher or you speak with the meat person in the supermarket. I hope I have answered your question sufficiently. If not, give us a call at Grace Kitchens. Good luck with your pot roast this holiday time. All the best for the season. Make it a date to watch Creative Cooking every Monday morning at 7.35 a.m. on Smile Jamaica with a repeat every Sunday at 2.50 p.m. You'll find some great meal ideas for this season and beyond. Catch the good stuff on Creative Cooking. Mondays at 7.35 a.m. on Smile Jamaica. Brighten up your festive table with tasty meal ideas from Grace Kitchens on Creative Cooking.